Hey YouTubers, this is Bruce from Bruce's Antique Toy Corner again. Um, I'm going to do, so do something a little different this time in my filming. Um, usually you're seeing stuff that has wheels on it. But um, a couple films back, I uh, showed you a couple uh, Barclay uh, pop metal toy soldiers. Some are from World War One. some are from World War Two. And uh, I have a whole collection of these, so I thought I might show them to you today. Um, I'll pick them up one by one and show them to you and let you know all about them. When I first started collecting these, I got these really small ones. And these are all German soldiers, um, World War I, made out of like a, like a pewter. Here's another one. This looks to be an officer of some sort. I'll have to get up real close so you can see it. But these are real small. And in, in, in size, they're two inches, maybe three inches. Here's another German soldier holding a hand, getting ready to throw a hand grenade. Here's another what appears to be an officer. By the way, his hat is and everything. Um, I'm guessing these are World War I things by the these helmets like this helmet maybe on this guy this might be a French soldier it looks a little different than a German helmet would be for World War One all pewter I got these from a coin shop a guy had a little box of them on in, in, in his display cabinet next to the coins and I can't remember what I paid for them I think my wife bought me these for a present the other ones I got, these are pewter too, but they're actually painted. They're little Civil War soldiers. That looks like a foot soldier. This here looks like a maybe a captain or something. He's got a sword that he's putting up. Um, I have some horses here. Um, looks like South Southern soldiers. Um, this looks like a uh, a Union soldier on a horse. And here's another one with a flag in his hand. All in pretty good condition. I got all these horses and these Union soldiers were all together in one big group. Um, didn't pay very much for them. Um, I got them on an antique shop, I think, for maybe about $12. Um, but like I said, all pewter. Here's a guy holding a... Here's a southern soldier holding a rebel flag. All in pretty good condition. Uh, next one I got. This is another another Civil War soldier. And this is actually posable. His arms actually move. And he's got pistols in both hands. Looks like a captain or something. Some kind of officer. Over and all in pretty good shape. He's probably about three inches. Three, three and a half inches tall. This is kind of neat. I picked him up. This is like a preacher. Um, he's got one one arm that's movable. And you see it comes around like that. Posable arm. I just thought it was kind of cool because I'd never seen a preacher in one of these pop metal type soldiers. Here's another one. World War I. Um, he's got a bugle in his hand. Overall in good shape. Uh, paint's all there. So the other one I got is kind of rough. It's a, it's a guy that's been hurt. Um, he's all bandaged up and stuff. He's uh, missing a lot of his paint. I'm not gonna restore him or anything. I just thought it was. You can see it's pop metal by the bottom of the thing. Um, I would have to figure somewhere around. By the way, his uniform is maybe World War II. <clears throat> Another one I got. This is like a. These are lead soldiers. Um, this is a, um, not a Civil War, but a Revolutionary War soldier. Not in bad condition. Um, I have these two. I don't know if I can show you these together, but one at a time. They're both the same. They're both, uh, I would say World War I soldiers with little guns with them. Uh, another one I have, I think I showed you this in the last video. It's a guy that's wounded 
World War II guy. He lays down. He's got a bandage on his foot and around his arm. Pretty good shape. World War II. Another one of these lead soldiers. This is World War I lead soldier. Um, he still has his rifle. Still in pretty good shape. I'm not beat up. I hardly played with. I've got a couple more Civil War soldiers. These are lead. Um, overall, pretty good condition. Um, you can buy this stuff really cheap. Um, I found some of them for a couple dollars a piece. Um, some of them haven't been too cheap. Um, some I paid. There's a couple that are on this table that I, I paid up of 40, upwards of $40 for. Because I kind of wanted them for my collection. Um, this next one I got, this is a British armored car. And I have the original box for this and I picked it up in a in a antique shop and it's pop metal and it has all the it has the driver and the machine gunner and an extra guy in it and these are all removable pieces you can take them all out on and I have the original box for this and I found this at an antique store and it was fifty dollars and it said everything in the booth was half off so I got it for 25 and I'm not really sure who the manufacturer is because I haven't even come close to finding anything that looks anywhere near this. But it's pop metal. You can see it's cast on the bottom just like the rest. Um, this little tank here has uh, white wheels on it. World War I tank. Um, it's a Barclay too. You can see it's pop metal. It's open on the bottom in great condition and I think I paid somewhere around fifteen dollars for this it's overall in great shape I'll try to open it up so you can see my hand it opened up a little bit so you can see a little bit better but overall in great shape um, here's another one it's World War One at least that's what the guy at the antique store said I, di I didn't really know that much about him you can see it's pop metal too um, these wooden wheels were exactly what came on it. So it's an original piece. Overall in good shape. You can see some flaws in the cast. This is what I kind of like a little bit, you know, because you can see that it was it's really a real one. It's not a copy of anything. Um, here's another one. Uh, World War I field cannon. It's got the white wheels on it, too. Overall in great shape. Um, I think I paid around fifteen dollars for that one. Um, this other one's World War One, also. It's a field car with two guys in it, and he's got a cannon on top of the car. Um, I think I paid around fifteen dollars for this actually too. Um, overall, in great condition. This next one I have is a car. I couldn't find a lot of information on it. It is it is a pop metal. Um, I'm assuming World War One or in between World War One and Two. It's some kind of boat tail speedster. I don't know if it's an Auburn boat tail speedster. You know, it looks European. I couldn't find any information on it, and I paid quite a bit for this. I think I paid upwards of about twenty five dollars for it. But overall, it's in great condition. It's about four inches long. I mean, this is amazing to look at because, you know, sometime some little child was playing with this somewhere between probably World War I, World War II, you know, Depression Era type stuff. And uh, to have something like this to play with was probably something pretty special. I, I, don't, I don't imagine too many little kids were playing that unless your parents were probably well-to-do. But I liked it for my collection. couple two three of these at a time the next one I have is a, a Navy guy um, he's missing a lot of his paint um, I was gonna touch him up but I just thought well I'll just keep him as an original um, the next guy this is a this is a lead machine gunner um, actually I got this really cheap I got this for like three dollars out of some guy's booth at an antique store and it's overall great condition. I uh, you know, all scarred up or nothing. Doesn't look like it's been played with very much. Uh, next one I got. This is kind of neat. Um, 
it looks like it'd be a World War One soldier, um, and his and his little hat on top is metal instead of uh, pop metal like it usually. It's like a stainless steel type of metal on top. He's kind of neat. He kind of crawls along the ground. Um, this other one's like I showed you this in the last. This is one I just got picked. I like a kind of like little Polynesian soldier or something. Looks like he's got a knife in his hand other than a rifle. And he's kind of neat. Overall in great condition. And I said I bought, in that last video, I said I bought these a bunch of these for $2 a piece. And like I said, a lot of these were, some of these other ones were $15, $16, um, $25. Some, I get them as cheap as I can when I can get them. Um, this is another really cool one. World War II. Barclay. Guy is firing his bazooka. Overall in great condition. Not much paint loss at all. You know, it's got to be kind of cool being a little kid and playing with this stuff when you were little. Here's another guy with a flag. He's in overall good shape, retaining most of his paint. He's a little chipped up, but I don't have any intentions of altering these things at all. And I showed you these in the last one. It's just two soldiers together. They're they're both wounded soldiers. And like I said, I got in that one video, I said I bought both of these for $2 a piece. Next guy I got, he's another, I'm guessing... By the hat, maybe World War One soldier. Um, he, the thing is, he's not pop metal though. He's plastic. That's the only plastic one I have sitting on this table for some reason. But it's made out of plastic. And another guy. He's holding another flag. Um, overall, in pretty good condition. Missing a lot of paint, but like I said, I don't have any intentions of restoring any of these things. Um, I got this guy in a box of stuff. If anybody has any idea what he's for, um, I seen something like this in an antique store, and I think this guy is a, he's not a soldier, he's somebody that's bundled up for being out in the snow, and I think he's set on a sled, but I just found him in the bottom of a box, so I just decided to keep him with all these other ones. Here's another guy, um, another Barclay, World War II, has his rifle. M1 Grand looks to appear to be um, overall great condition. Um, I think I paid $15 for him. Uh, next guy, he's a gunner. The gun's a little bit big for proportion <laughs> considering what it is, but... He's overall in good shape. The only problem with him, he's got a corner of him broken off there. But I got him really cheap. I think I got him for like 5 or $6. Overall kind of neat. He's like a shooting at something in the air. Here's another Navy guy. He's got his gun. Um, his colors are pretty good. Like I said, probably World War II. Um, like I said, it's kind of hard to narrow down the years on this kind of stuff because they made it for a lot of years. And here's another guy. I showed you this guy a couple of videos back. I got in a pick. He seems to be some kind of officer. I'm guessing by the style of his helmet, probably World War II. Um, there's wires on him here. I don't know if it was holding on to anything or not. Um, this is another Barclay. This is a Canon. I showed you that a couple films back. I got that for $2. Overall in great condition. Um, I'm showing it to you, to you again because I figured it kind of goes along with this, this stuff that I have. Here's another guy. He's kind of cool. He's World War II. He's throwing a hand grenade. He's got really good colors. Um, I bought this out of a coin shop and I think I paid pretty close to $20 for him. Like I said, some of the time you can get this stuff pretty cheap, and sometimes you can't. Um, here's another Navy guy. Um, overall in not great condition, but he still retains some of his paint. Um, I bought this. I used to have a booth at an antique store that I was selling some of my toys at. And um, an old guy that has an awesome collection, just 
it'll blow you away. Um, had these, a whole bunch of these in a box, and he gave me them for next to nothing. I think I paid, I think I bought 15 pieces for $14 or something like that. And this last one, it's just a, I'll try to get them in the picture so you can see them a little better. It's just a tiny little machine gunner. He's probably two inches by two inches, maybe. He's not very big at all. And this was a gift from my father-in-law. And he goes to a, he's a coin collector, so he goes to this coin shop I was talking about earlier in the video. And uh, he paid $40 for this little guy, and he's in pretty great shape. Looks like he's got a water-cooled machine gun. I'm assuming World War I. And you can see he's pop metal. Um, like I said, it's hard to, it's really kind of hard to judge on the years of this stuff. Because it was, it was made for so long, and they made a lot of it. But I'm just trying to somewhat guess because when you look at ads online, you'll see everybody's opinion of what the years are varies a lot of times. But overall, this is my pop metal collection, I guess I could say. Um, like I said, I've kind of tapered off. I mean, this is just what I've collected in the last three and a half years. And uh, I've kind of slowed down on doing it. I'm moving towards the bigger stuff like all the rest of my videos. But it just goes to show you, you know, I like I like littles too, and uh, it's it's kind of fun to imagine somebody playing with these things, and and liking these toys. Um, like I say, Bark Barclay is a company that made a lot of them. Um, there's some other companies, and a lot, but a lot of them just say marked uh, made in the USA. Most of them are marked on the bottom, but they don't usually have a they don't usually have a distributor or anything to tell you who they what the company was, but. That's this collection, and um, if you like it, click on like. If you'd like to subscribe and see some more of my videos, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do, be doing a lot more of them. I have a lot more stuff to show you guys. And that's about it. And this is uh, Bruce from Bruce's Antique Toy Corner, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.